ako po ay isang grade 4. Um, 9 years old na po ako ngayon. Ang daddy ko po ay isang seaman. Siya po ay isang OFW. So, we're going to set up the Oh, sure. <laughs> kuya! Because I'm going to set up the lobo. I'm going to set up the lobo. I'm going to set up the lobo. I'm going to set up It's okay. By the way, where's Ate Jane? Ah, I'm going to set up the lobo. I'm going to set up the lobo. I'm going to set up Kuya Vince! I'm going to set up the Size 9, Tas Ferrero, and iPhone 10. Kuya, are you serious? <laughs> Ang pagulit nyo. I will really miss you. Mamimiss ka rin namin, Kuya. Sobra. Oh, sya, sya. Sige na. Uh, the two of you, do not stress. Ate Jane, too much, okay? Okay, Jen, bye. Look at those Filipinos. The airport almost looks like a warehouse because of those balikbayan boxes scattered in. Every time I turn my head and observe every corner of this airport, boxes, boxes, boxes. This old man, his balikbayan box is merely sealed by tape. This young lady, straws. I suddenly remember my brother and his pasalubos. One of these days, I will also be one of these OFWs bring their own balikbayan box. What were those pasalubong again? 
size 9 footwear, Toblerone, Ferrero, and an iPhone 10. <laughs> uh, these Filipinos. I am pretty sure that those boxes were filled with important canned goods like Spam and Vienna sausage. Body lotions and luxury perfumes. Those body soaps that were free from hotels. Well, ganun tayo mga Pinoy. We'll do everything for the sake of their happiness, our loved ones, our family. Oh, I remember the story of an OFW that was once shared by my sister to me. Yes, Ate. I am aware that it would be a big challenge for me to temporarily live there. But we both know that working outside our country is way too hard because there's the fact that a long distance would be between us and being alone every single day is not an easy thing. Yes, and the feeling of being homesick. You know what? There's this story of a Filipino engineer working overseas. It's the month of December and these co-workers were all preparing for their flight back here in the Philippines. While they were all excited, he was quite lonely because he was the only one of all his Filipino co-workers that cannot go. What can we do? Holiday is coming and all I want is to be with my family. Like what every OFW does. We know bro, we understand. You know what guys, we need to help you. But how? Our allowance is not enough for us to go home. If I have an extra money, I will lend it to you. What if you put me inside your luggage? What? what? Dude, are you sure about it? Yeah. Are you sure? It's dangerous. I don't even care if it's risky or not. All I want <laughs> is to celebrate Christmas with my family. God knows how much I miss them. Oh, okay. Just always remember, we got your back. Too many unanswered questions like, wouldn't an x-ray machine in the airport detect a Filipino man curled up in a box? You really are missing the point, brother. It's not about the mechanics that matter. It's about the drama. The extremes a Filipino will go to just to be back home for Christmas with his family. 
Sister is right. Look at me. I'm still standing at my own land, but thinking of the fact that later on, I will no longer be here. Really feels me sad and makes me homesick. But what can I do? I am an OFW. And like what the engineer said, we OFWs will do everything for the sake of our families. So now, a safe trip for me. We always think that being OFW had a wonderful life. We envy when we see them post in a beautiful scenery like beach, Disneyland, or a beautiful park. We crave the food they eat, especially those desserts that we didn't know. But have you really thought what behind those pictures and smiles? I think we don't. Helping one another and keep on smiling no matter what happened when working in the foreign country are the best attitudes that Filipinos always have. They are truly the new hero of our country. We must give thanks and respect all the Filipinos work abroad and we are proud that we are a Filipino.